let, let's move on here. This is a very, very, um, very interesting one. Uh, performance max or no oh. performance max? Like we're saying, there's no right answer, no wrong answer, but you have to make a decision here. That's the whole point of this this episode is choices you have to make in Google Ads, decisions you have to make in Google Ads, and you have to decide whether or not you're going to run a performance max campaign here in 2022 or not. Um, and and money doesn't grow on trees, Chris. Sorry. Yes, sir. Just, you know, just, yeah. just you're preparing. You're preparing yeah, when preparing, your kids yeah. keep asking yeah. for that. That little bit faster yeah. motorcycle. Yeah. yeah. It doesn't grow on trees. So by definition, I mean, almost every advertiser has a limited budget. So yeah. you got to make a choice here. It's going to possibly take from search, depending on impression share, depending on your budget. But let's say we're in a scenario where it will. You got to take a little budget from search if you want to run on Performance Max. How do you make that decision these days, Chris? And do you like the way I framed it? Isn't that a pretty good, yeah. tough decision? Yeah. yeah. I I mean, if we're going for like a death match kind of thing, you know, do I let we don't PPC... have to. We don't have to, Chris. A lot of talk about the death match today before the show. <laughs> give me a hug. Bring it in. Bring it in. I Bring it in. give I, me hey I'll tell you, Chris. I'm give me a virtual hug right here. Okay. Just do it. All right. Patting your back. <laughs> okay. All right. Unlock. Unlock. Okay. okay, let go. Let go. Too long. You, okay, you're let the go. one that held too long. That wasn't me. We both did. Okay. Okay, go ahead. So, performance max or no performance max? I'm going to go... I mean, that's what we're here for, to make ha- the hard decisions. Yeah, um, sure. It's, it's, it's a shiny. It is definitely shiny and blinky and very shiny. Lots, of, lot, lots of buttons and, and very attractive. Um, but I'll tell you what. If I had to either take it or leave it, and either I had the option of running Performance Max in all of my accounts or no Performance Max at all, Jason, I would say no Performance Max at all in any of my accounts. That's where I would take it. I'd say none. I'd leave it. I'd leave it on every single one. What do you think? Did I... Are you going to leave? No, I'm not going to leave. Okay. If you know, if we have to make a hard decision, and I've got to take leads from the search campaign, I'm going to do it these days. I'm going to try. I'm going to go wow. for it. It's uh, it's rare I'm, that we have such a solid disagree. This is okay. This is good. This is good. I want to hear it. Like tell tell me why. <sighs> because I can definitely tell you why I'm cautious about it. But you've probably heard it all. Tell me why you're in favor of it. I've heard it all. Why people are cautious about it. Yeah. Because I because I've seen her face. Now I'm a believer. I couldn't leave her if I tried. Oh, gosh. Okay. That, isn't that monkeys. Shrek? No, I think oh. it's the monkeys. Shrek um, is where because I, I've seen it. I've seen it work. <laughs> I've seen it work. And when it works, it's a beautiful thing. It's a beautiful thing because you're on brand with Google in 2022. You're going with the flow of the machine and. Yeah. When you're in the flow of the machine and you're holding its hand and you get drag along, drug along with it, right. some really, really cool things would happen because it's a very powerful machine. It's so like we've always, I've always said, like back in the day when they were doing good, Facebook, uh, they did have an advantage on Google when it came to non search because they could know things about the user and you could get in front of those users and that was a very for- powerful form of marketing in addition to search. Some thing change, things changed with that company. And at the same time, I think Google either figured out the, the person aspect of it or is on its way to figuring it out. And I really like the power of combining uh, the reach of, of Google's kind of ecosphere online, like Gmail, Maps, Search, YouTube, and some other places uh, display and all that. I really like getting access to that reach in a way that's very targeted and in getting in front of the right people. And there's been a lot of talk about this over the years, the moments or whatever it used to, they used to phrase it as getting in front of the right person at the right time, building that chain, if you will, or that flow to the final conversion. Um, but it hadn't really been there in the past with performance max. Sometimes now I've seen it there 
it's super powerful and I'm going to have to try it mindset now. Like I have to try it. So if someone just wants to run on search, that's fine. We can make the most of that budget for sure. But I really like the reach uh, that Performance Max can offer. And then when it performs well, it's like, it's a pretty cool thing. But there's a lot of steps along the way. You have to get all your settings right. And you have to be patient. You have to give it some real time here. Um, I say at least at least four weeks, more preferably eight weeks. And you have to have a budget that you can do that with. But I'm in the mindset, Chris, you can always walk it back. You know, you can always turn it off and go back just to search. Um, I've seen some great things, but I, I've talked to a lot of advertisers out there. And some people are still, um, they just maybe haven't given that time or they're, or they're not really into it. But I'm into it. I'm into the overall marketing aspect of things. So, not just yeah. so, so your argument is... Um... You don't know what you're missing out on. This is um, you're you're attracted to the potential. You're attracted to the potential of what yeah, it can do and and what it exactly. has done. I, I've just seen situations where we've been able to grow conversion volume, and then we've been able to get the same kinds of conversions, the same exact conversion action, at a lot cheaper cost. Um, no. And I've I've been a big fan of remarketing for a long time. And even though not everything can show up in the numbers, I do love the idea of, of hitting people all the time with your videos, your impressions, your display ads, uh, in addition to search. So it's a preference thing, but um, I've seen it work well. And once, once you kind of seen it work well, it's hard to kind of imagine, honestly, kind of hard to imagine Google ads without it these days. Um, but it's the times where it's worked really well. So I'm a fan and you can always walk it back. Um, but Chris, it definitely takes the right mindset. It takes the right advertiser. You get some some clients, some advertisers that are just, no, we need to make the phone ring today. We need leads today. And they're not really into exploring for uh, new leads out there. I also think brand is a big aspect of it. Like if someone's not that interested in building a brand, they're more just hardcore lead generation, then, you know, search makes sense. It's yeah. a decision you got to make though. Yeah. Well, hey, that's fine. We can still, we can still keep the podcast we can still disagree Good. on this. It's Good. um it's it's the performance max death match and uh you'll take yours, I'll take mine and uh we'll disagree and that's fine. 